What's your budget for captivating work? A mesmerizing painting can be a powerful emotional centerpiece, but how much are you willing to invest? For some collectors, the sky's the limit. With record-breaking sales for pieces from the old masters to 20th century luminaries like Warhol, Pollock, and Picasso. Let's explore the world of the most expensive paintings ever sold and stick around to the last one because it's a painting that only a billionaire can afford to hang in his room. With that, let's start with the Salvatore Mundi. Purchased for over $450 million in 2017 by an initially anonymous buyer, later revealed as Saudi Prince Bader Ban Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Farhan Al Saud, is now held by the Saudi Arabian Culture Ministry. This artwork, known as the Savior of the World, not only boasts the title of the world's most expensive painting, but is also entangled in controversy. Scholars cast doubt on its attribution to Leonardo da Vinci, citing deviations from his recognized style. The painting's tumultuous history includes a two-century disappearance, a mere $1,175 acquisition at a New Orleans auction in 2005, and subsequent restoration by the renowned expert Diane Modestini. Moving on to the third most valuable painting globally emerges Willem de Kooning's Interchange valued at $300 million and presently owned by Kenneth C. Griffin. This masterpiece, showcasing de Kooning's mature expressionist style, marked a historic transaction in September 2015, when it transitioned from David Geffen to Griffin for a staggering sum. Currently showcased at the Art Institute of Chicago, Interchange stands as a captivating testament to de Kooning's transcendent talent, enchanting art enthusiasts with its mesmerizing aura. Gratifying from abstract expressionism to another artistic realm, Paul Cezanne, often hailed as the father of modern art, contributes to the high-stakes art scene with The Card Players. Valued at $250 million, this seminal work found a home in 2011 under the ownership of the royal family of Cutter. With four distinct versions, three of which now reside in major public museum collections, Cezanne's enduring influence persists creating a reliable storm of high-priced auctions around his masterpieces. The transitions from de Kooning's interchange to Cezanne's The Card Players showcase the diverse tapestry of art's value and ownership across different styles and eras. Shifting the focus to post-impressionism, Paul Gauguin's Nafia Fa Ipiopo, also known as When Will You Marry, emerged as a masterpiece in 1892. After residing on loan for decades at the Kunstmuseum in Basel, Switzerland, this exceptional artwork found a new residence in February 2015. Sheikha Al Mayasa bint Hamad Al Thani made a notable acquisition, securing the painting for nearly $210 million. This significant transaction further cements the state of Qatar's presence in the art world, with the artwork displayed at the Foundation Baylor until June 2015. The narratives of ownership, spanning from de Kooning to Cezanne and now Gauguin, intricately weave a rich tapestry illustrating art's journey through time and evolving value. Venturing into abstract expressionism, Jackson Pollock's masterpiece, number 17A, made a historic mark in September 2015. In a groundbreaking deal, hedge fund manager Kenneth C. Griffin acquired this abstract marvel for a remarkable $200 million. Currently showcased at the Art Institute of Chicago on loan, it enthralls art enthusiasts with its explosive creativity, securing its position as the sixth most expensive painting ever sold. The transition from Gauguin's Nafio Fa Ipiopo to Pollock's number 17A highlights the dynamic nature of the art world, where each masterpiece weaves its unique tale of acquisition and admiration. Known as one of Rembrandt's most lively masterpieces, the standard bearer, a self-portrait from 1636 highlights the enduring impact of the Dutch Golden Age artist. Initially possessed by King George IV of England, it later came into the hands of the Rothschild family in 1844. In a noteworthy development, the Dutch government revealed its intention in late 2021 to acquire this artistic gem from the Rothschilds for the National Collection. The transaction was completed in 2022 with the Netherlands acquiring the Standard Bear for 175 million euros, approximately $198 million. Since then, this captivating self-portrait has been featured in special exhibitions across the country, becoming an integral part of the Netherlands' cultural fabric. 
the varied tales of ownership, spanning from Pollock's number 17A to Rembrandt's The Standard Bear, exemplify the intricate and captivating journey of artworks through time, history, and various hands. Andy Warhol's Shot Sage Blue Marilyn created headlines in another thrilling chapter of art transactions when American art dealer Larry Gagosian purchased it for well over $195 million at Christie's sale in 2022. This painting, a hallmark piece in Warhol's oeuvre, was created as part of a five-painting series utilizing a silkscreen process and a cropped publicity photo from the film Niagara. The series got its name from a significant occurrence at Warhol's workshop. Dorothy Podber, a performance artist, fired a pistol at four of the paintings in a dramatic gesture. Although they were later fixed, the name Shot remained, instilling a distinct history into Warhol's legendary Marilyn Monroe reproductions. This story, which combines monetary value with artistic creativity and a dash of controversy. Moving on to Crafted in 1907, Water Serpents II is the second in a series capturing the central essence of the female form. Its history, however, takes a somber turn during World War II as the Nazis confiscated this lavishly decorated painting from Jewish collector Jenny Steiner, eventually gifting it to a Nazi filmmaker. Resurfacing in 2015 through a Sotheby's auction, the piece changed hands multiple times before finding a new owner in 2017 for a substantial $170 million. This captivating artwork, marked by its tumultuous past and artistic significance, now resides on public display at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. The journey of Water Serpents II, from wartime confiscation to a series of changes in ownership, adds a poignant layer to its visual narrative, making it not only an artistic masterpiece, but also a bearer of historical echoes. Echoing the distinct style found in many of Mark Rothko's works, number six completed in 1951, captures two expanses of violet and vibrant red separated by a band of green. The interplay of colors is softened around the edges, creating an illusion as if the assertive hues are organically fading into one another. In a remarkable transaction, this masterpiece changed hands privately in 2014 for an outstanding $186 million, setting a new record for the renowned painter. Rothko's number six stands as a testament to the enduring allure of abstract expressionism, with its bold use of color and form resonating in the art world's record books. At the pinnacle of the art world, Leonardo da Vinci's magnum opus, The Mona Lisa, holds the title of the world's costliest painting, valued at a staggering $970 million. Safeguarded within the revered halls of the Louvre Museum in Paris since 1804, this masterpiece stands as an irreplaceable symbol of French heritage, shielded by legal protections against potential buyers. The precise valuation of the Mona Lisa remains an enigma, with its 1962 insurance assessment of $100 million, adjusted for inflation, soaring into the present-day realm of nearly a billion dollars. The Mona Lisa's enduring mystique and unparalleled value make it a priceless gem in the world of art, transcending time and monetary considerations. Well, that's it for today. Whether housed in prestigious museums, privately owned or showcased in auctions, these masterpieces continue to spark fascination. Let me know your take on it in the comments section. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.